What's up? You're in the Beat Sessions. I am your host, Mitchell Weary. It is Friday, June 11th, 2021. But someone please take me back to a simpler time when there was no cell phones and no internet. A simpler time when there was no social media for all my bad decisions to be immortalized in eternity on. A simpler time when alternative rock was king of the radio and cool. Please, someone take me back to the mid-90s. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Garbage has a brand new record entitled No Gods, No Masters. This is their seventh studio album. It is their follow-up to 2016's Strange Little Birds. Shirley Manson and the boys are back. Their output, uh, by no means prolific, since their debut in 1995, self-titled debut. But very consistent over the course of the years, and I love their sound. Shirley Manson talks about the third track on the record, Uncomfortably Me, and it highlights this kind of insecurity that she had, along with, I think, a lot of the band when they were younger, first starting off, uh, about being kind of like on the fringes of society, not like necessarily fitting in anywhere. And that's what makes Garbage, and has always made Garbage, so damn good. We might, we might not be able to travel into the past, but thankfully they came into the future with us. And even after all of these years, their sound, while drawing on so many different influences, is so distinct. Shirley Manson's voice being the icing on the cake for that. It's, uh, it's just as distinct and lovely as ever, her voice. Lots of great big vocal hooks. I'm loving the upbeat tracks on this record, definitely drawing on that post-punk, new wave, uh, garage rock combination. So think Depeche Mode, think New Order, The Cure, Talking Heads, bands of that nature, Contemporary, The Bravery, Inner Pool, um, you know, TV on the radio, bands that come to mind when I think of this. And the slower tracks, I'm loving too. They definitely have more of an industrial feel, kind of tapping into that Trez, Trent Reznor, Nine Inch Nails kind of vibe. And so this, this record, lovely continuity. The, the slower toned down tracks are, are in the ruts, just in the right spots to keep the pace of this record nice. I, I absolutely love the 11 tracks. I love the extra bonus tracks that are singles released over, I believe, like the last eight years or so. There's some cool covers in there. So if you're a big fan of Garbage like I am and you want to treat yourself that bonus disc, by all means, go for it. It's been funny because there's been a lot of people talking about Garbage being too woke on this record. And Shirley Manson, strong woman, calling out men. The, the opening track, The Men Who Rule the World, she's certainly not shy about her feelings. And let's be real, uh, the majority of the world is ruled by men still. Uh, however, I will say that political corruption, uh, women are not immune to it. It's definitely on display in our country as well. So maybe it could have been the people who rule, rule the world, but pretty much uh, at this point, I, I can't help but kind of agree with her on that track. It's aggressive, strong opener. It's got this funky riff and kind of like a, a money style, uh, like Pink Floyd. Um, you get that sound sample of the, the slot machines, that change hitting the tin. It's a, a great way to open up this record. The Creeps, second track, Jaunty Synth, uh, just rocking guitars. You definitely start to get that Depeche Mode vibe. Wonderful hook on that song. Uncomfortably Me is the third track on that record. Wolves is the fourth song. You get that post-punk garage rock feel driving that song. Great track. Uh, and then it leads into Waiting for God, which uh, is minimalistic and dark. Again, kind of venturing into that industrial territory when, when they're slowing it down. Godhead is probably my favorite song on this record. Savage, just opening line uh, that becomes the hook. It's a groovy rocker. Um, Shirley Manson's rocking this hushed vocal on the verses, and then the chorus just gets big. So I really like the, the structure of that song. A Woman Destroyed is another one of those songs that you know, a lot of people are complaining about as far as Shirley Manson being woke. And, I, you know, one of her things that, uh, that I love is uh, she's not necessarily political. I was talking about Rise Against uh, as far as the lyrical approach and just writing about what you see in front of you. And frankly, you know, there's still a lot of problems that, that women face and deal with. Uh, you know, if, uh, if you're doing you disagree, you might want to just not send unsolicited dick pics. Try that out. It is an option. Uh, it's incredible how, how much of a thing that still is. It's like, dudes, stop doing that. Be respectful. Cut that shit out. And maybe Shirley Manson will write lyrics to, you know, different songs. But until then, I like A Woman Destroyed. Keep rocking it, Shirley. Flipping the Bird is a great song. It's got a kind of like a lighter New Order feel. Follows that. And then the self-titled track, No Gods, No Masters. Great penultimate track. It's got this uplifting energy as far as, you know, again, it's, it, it's all about self-reliance and it's all about taking the reins and we collectively can fix all of these problems if we choose to come together and make that happen. 
I really like the way the album closes with This City Will Kill You. It's kind of an elegy to that mindset, uh, leaving behind, you know, the fear and, you know, and obviously the, the city uh, refers to L.A. But, you know, for, for being the city of angels, it's kind of a grimy spot, especially these days. And it can suck you in and tear you apart. It's a rough city. And so I, I like the vibe of uh, independence in escaping that, that really uh, bookends this album. It's just a wonderful project from Garbage. I'm super stoked about this record. I've had a chance to listen to it a couple of times, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So Vinyl Please, there's a number of cool packages that I've seen that you can pick this record up on. And like I said, if you're a fan, pick up those extra bonus tracks because there's some cool covers in there. There's uh, Because the Night... Springsteen and Patti Smith. You got a little Bowie action in there with Starman. It's pretty awesome stuff. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out the live show on Sunday nights, and we will see you next time on the Beat Sessions.